हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लैब लर्निंग्स होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थाइरॉयड एंड इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक टी एस एच बिकॉज थाइरॉयड इज अ बिग ह्यूज टॉपिक यू नो वाई टी एस एच एंड वाई थाइरॉयड बिकॉज थाइरॉयड इज लाइक द सी पी यू और द मास्टर माइंड ऑफ अवर बॉडी इट प्रोड्यूसेस टी थ्री टी फोर विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन द अपकमिंग सेशंस but the hormone which controls this is tsh i remember way back in 1998 when i wanted to do a thyroid test for my mom it took actually 8 days that means one whole week and today we are here where we get the report in just few hours so technology has advanced the techniques like ria to elisa to ultra sensitive have progressed and the indications for doing thyroid or in particular tsh what we are going to cover today are ranging from age group of neonatal pregnant mothers young puberty pre puberty males and females reproductive age and geriatric population so it covers each and every cell and system of our body so we are going to touch on each topic in short and just understand what is this tsh or thyroid going to do and in particular as i said hypothyroidism so basically it's a condition which either manifests to the clinician as symptoms which we are going to talk or signs diagnosed by a clinician these symptoms or signs are are very crucial right from the prenatal antenatal prepubertal reproductive age and geriatric age this organ or hormone covers each and every cell of our body so what happens in hypothyroidism basically this tsh you know which is a hormone produced by the pituitary is going to control our t3 t4 which you must have heard always so what happens t3 t4 production goes down and the tsh goes up so that it pushes the thyroid to produce produce more and more t3 t4 so patient presents with symptoms or signs like weight gain which is the commonest in hypothyroidism because thyroid reduces the metabolic rate second is hair loss dry skin in females irregular menses in males there will be delayed puberty in reproductive age we are going to discuss about infertility low sperm counts dysmenorrhea low ovulation in females less ovulation in females hypothyroidism i am going to discuss particularly apart from this what happens in pregnancy what happens in diabetes and hypothyroidism we are also going to talk about hypothyroidism with mental health or depression and hypothyroidism very important in india or developing countries where neonatal screen will add a lot of value now coming to pregnancy why is it so important in pregnancy you know a pregnant female particularly in india you know we have seen in some communities that the pregnancy is not even revealed for the first 3 months but it is the most crucial time because that is the time the fetus is not having its own thyroid gland it is not manufacturing the hormone only the maternal hormone supports the fetus and it's very crucial for the fetal mental health or brain development the thyroid or the tsh these hormones need to be continuously monitored in first trimester and high risk pregnancies so if not manifested or diagnosed we will miss out on that crucial fetal hypothyroidism and that will result into mental retardation sometimes miscarriage also we have seen that thyroid with thyroiditis which is autoimmune it's commonly seen along with type 1 diabetes which is autoimmune diabetes though there is no relation which is established between type 2 diabetes and thyroid we have seen many cases of hypothyroidism and type 2 diabetes as well so here it affects the kidney and tsh is also governing the metabolism the third most important thing which is worrying everybody today in this scene is mental health and thyroid it's very commonly seen there is a mild to moderate hypothyroidism in depression 
the fourth and the most commonest thing which i always insist is neonatal screen if every child which is born in our nursing homes and we offer the neonatal screen to them we can actually pick up this condition on day 0 or day 1 and treat it so let's all together come and diagnose this condition which is treatable you know the lab tests hardly take you know an hour or two today very very important in thyroid which i would like to mention is the sample collection many times we have seen patients calling us and asking dr aparna how should i come for the thyroid test should i come fasting should i take the medicine you know it's very very important that you follow your clinician's instructions ideally i feel fasting is better you know so that there are no interferences of cholesterol or other particles or other chemicals which can interfere in the diagnosis and the most important thing is early morning sample we have seen couple of cases where tsh does show a diurnal variation so the best thing is before 10 o'clock because that's the highest activity period in the human life so with this i come to the end of today's topic tsh hypothyroidism if you like the content of our channel please subscribe to our channel lab learnings till then be safe and stay healthy thank you